This is a quick video explaining how to reset the interface on GeoMagic Design X. Uh, so one popular issue that we will see on occasion is that it people will close things on the interface and they want to uh, bring them back. So depending on how much you've modified the interface, I have three different ways of resetting some of the toolbars and bringing them back. Um, so one common one is people will hit the X over here. So if you have on the right hand side, you have properties, display and accuracy analyzer. So if you hit the, the X, it'll close whatever current one you're in, right? And once you've done that, um, it's not clear how to get those back. Um, so one way is uh, on this upper toolbar here, if you right click, you can see all the different toolbars in the display properties and accuracy analyzer are here but they're unchecked so the easiest way is to turn those on right here accuracy analyzer and they'll come back to their default location now that's assuming that you didn't move them around and make them a floating window and then and put them on a different monitor or whatever so that's the easiest way if that's all you did is close these you can right click on the upper bar or in one of the other toolbars down here and you'll see that it comes comes off there. Um, <clears throat> another thing that you can do is reset. Um, so if it's, if it's these toolbars, you can turn those on and off um, by using this and then you can come over to customize and then you can come over to toolbars and hit reset all and it should reset all their current locations. Now, that doesn't necessarily cover the ribbons. For the ribbons, if you right click up here in the white space, you can hit customize ribbon. And then in here, you can reset the ribbons. So it will put them back to where they started from. So like if you made your own one and you remove some of the other ones here, um, you can reset those from this place, right? Now, one thing that could happen is like, let's say you closed all of these and you close this and then down here if you want manage to turn off support select filter position snap visibility so look everything is closed and then if you turn click on upper side tools is what this one is you can still get back to it but if i turn that one off i have no way of right clicking on anything to get that back to where I could I could turn them back on. Except for one thing that you can do is you can either come from menus to help here or from here you can come over to help. And if you just grab any one of these, whether it's help tutorial, the top two are the only two it works for. So if you say tutorial, one thing that it'll do is it'll open up a toolbar and by default, it's a text document, so like when you right click, it's gonna show this. But if I go ahead and pin it back to the side, I can then turn this back on. I could turn on the tree, display, and I can get everything back that way. Uh, properties. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do them all. But um, that is a way you could, and then when you're done with help, you could just close out the help one and put these all back to where um, you wanted them, and then uh, accuracy analyzer. So you can do that. You could use that little trick where you come over and just open help, and it, it opens up a, uh, a toolbar. Um, but sometimes things are so messed up that it's kind of hard to figure out where you were and just resetting things all back to new is the way to go. So if I come over here, um, and if you navigate to the C program files, 3D systems, Geomagic Design X license folder right here, inside there, there's a reset options. So if I run reset options, what it's gonna do is clean your My Documents folder and clean the registry. Uh, I believe the registry is what's really uh, resetting everything back. So doing a reset options is almost like telling the computer to reset everything back to its defaults just like it was reinstalled 
Um, and many times you don't have to reinstall the software. You can just run this reset options and it puts everything back to where it was before. So now if I just come back and open design X again, you'll see everything will go back to where it was. So three different methods. One of them is right clicking and turning things on and off in the toolbars. Uh, another one is resetting the ribbons if that's what's messed up. And then the third option is just going ahead and doing a reset options and bringing everything back to the defaults. So there you go. It's right back to where I started from when I opened up the software the first time. I hope this helps. Thanks a lot.